As uh, Josh said earlier, and as I said, I'm Nicola Greenhouse. I'm the outreach coordinator for HJC Vi, um, and I'm here to answer all your questions um, or get you to the right person to answer your questions. If you have any questions during the presentation, you can drop them in the chat box below or raise your hand. I mean, and unmute and ask them um, afterwards. But if you think of any after, you can follow my disappearing hand to the HJC by email and we will receive that and get you to the right person. <clears throat> but we're gonna go ahead and start so we can get to our lovely presenters. I'm gonna give you a really quick overview of HJC by We are a nationwide cooperative purchasing program operated by the Houston, <laughs> the operated by the Houston Galveston Area Council of Governments. And we've been doing this about 45 years. So we'd like to think that we're pretty much the best in the business. But if you want like a number rundown, uh, we have about 8,000 members with new members added daily, over 800 contractors. I believe we're at 1,200, 1,212, something around that number. We have 40 plus major contract categories. And in 2020, we did about 5.8 million in total products purchased. Um, we don't do this by ourselves, obviously. We're a part of some really great programs. If you like, did follow my hands up here, you can see we're a part of NCPP, uh, the Professional Association of Cooperative Procurement, NIGP, NPI. Um, next slide. Um, we also have partnerships with these great people over here. So that's uh, SECA, the Sacramento Area Council of Governments, MARC, BRCPC, and MASC. Uh, the Municipal Association of South Carolina. And fun fact, if you are already a member of any of these partnerships, you're also already a member of HJC BUY, so you don't have to fill out our interlocal contract form. But just as a quick test, show of hands, how many people are already members of HJC BUY? Can I get a reaction? Maybe an applause because you're really excited to be here. Yes, yes. And a raised hand, a thumbs up. Okay, awesome. If you're not already a member and you would like to be, um, someone should be dropping in the chat box. Josh, thank you, Josh. Dropped in the chat box the uh, how to become an end user link on our website. Uh, and you can look at that and fill out our ILC form to become a member. If you're wondering how, like, what specificities you need to become a member, you can be any of these categories over here, from a state agency all the way down to a volunteer fire department, and we will accept you. We love you. We want you. Um, next slide, the benefit slide. Um, the advantages to membership, right? That's what everybody cares about, benefits, all of that. So what are the benefits of HGC buy? Um, we save you time, money, and the headache from having to spend your time and money, right? Like that's, we all trying to avoid that. Um, so the time we save you is that we do all the compliance research for you like off, off top. So you don't have to do any of that yourself. Um, and that's like thousands of hours of manpower saved, am I right? Your money is saved when you uh, can purchase immediately and at volume discounts using our program. So there's no waiting, there's no like hemming and hawing, like you can go immediately and get what you need. Um, and it's also a contractor funded program. So members get in for free, okay? There's no fee. We love that. Everybody loves free things. Um, and since we're a part of the Houston Galveston Area Council of Governments, we also have a local development corporation. You can see that over here. So these are resources that we have for vendors and for members. So we have the 504 fund for vendors and the business loan fund for members. Someone should have dropped a link in the chat box for the HGLDC website if you wanna learn more about that. And we also have um, information on FEMA funding if you want to know more about that, because that's a lot of questions that we get from a lot of people. Um, and with that, I am pretty much done with my Roadrunner speech. I know that was very fast, but here's an overview of the schedule today. If y'all want to look at that, see who our wonderful vendors are, as Joshua said earlier. Um, but that is pretty much it. I am done. Does anyone have any questions regarding the presentation? HGC by 
No. And before you ask Nicolette, yes, you did a fantastic job as always. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, then I'm going to sit down and shut up and let uh, let Joshua do his hosting. Hold on one second. All right, Nicolette, thank you so much. Before we hand it off to Miss Megan Lewis, I wanted to do a brief introduction for our HGAC staff. My manners were not there earlier. I'm so sorry, folks. But first up, we have Mr. Brian Denzel. He is our Cooperative Purchasing Manager. Brian, you were so close. There we go. I like that. Good morning. <laughs> We have Ms. Nicola Greenhouse, our wonderful host. She was our, she is our outreach coordinator. We have Ms. Christian Graven. She is also one of our outreach coordinators. And your procurement coordinator for this contract will be Ms. Veronica Johnson. Go ahead and give us a wonderful smile and good morning, Ms. Veronica. Another one of our wonderful procurement coordinators is Ms. Shantra Wilson. Go ahead and give yourself a good morning and a wave. And let's see, I have Ms. Marlena Mack as well. To begin to describe her role, we'd be here all day. But if you wanted to give a good morning to us, Ms. Marlena. Good morning, good morning. If you guys are in South Carolina uh, tomorrow through the weekend and going to the annual conference, please come see me. I'll be out there. Thank you, Ms. Marlena. And I believe that is everybody from H. Oh, Ms. Beverly, why are you so quiet over there? I, I skipped right over you. She is our business spec coordinator for this contract. I am so sorry. Good morning. Good morning, Beverly. I think Tanya is here, but I do not see Ms. Tanya. I, if you're out here, oh, there you are, Tan Camp. I see you. Good morning, Ms. Tanya. I guess I don't get a good morning back today. Well, enough of that. I'll take it over to Ms. Megan Lewis. Ms. Megan, are you ready? I am. I can't figure out where the mute button is. <laughs> I am ready to go, Joshua. All right, Megan, it is all yours. All right. Let me make sure I do this correctly and share in my screen. All right. All right. Can everybody see my presentation? Yes, good, good. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. I'm just going to move this over here. All righty. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much. Oh, no, I knew this was going to happen. Sorry. Let me go back through here. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, so my name is um, Megan Lewis, and I am uh, the public safety manager for Evans. Um, Evans is most well known for um, consoles, uh, the sit-stand workstations that our 911 dispatchers actually sit at and operate from. Um, but today I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what Evans is really all about um, and how we've kind of grown to be more than consoles in the industry. So, um, and please stop me if there are any questions. Um, so our mission in 911 is to design and equip mission critical operations. Um, this is just a pretty photo of the St. Petersburg Police Department, which is actually where I live. Um, so it's nice to, to have this in my backyard. Um, we complete about 20 to 25 control room projects uh, per month, um, in addition to uh, you know, taking care of our existing control rooms as well. Um, we have an install base of over 12,000 installations worldwide. Uh, we are not just a, a NASA company. We are also uh, worldwide with offices uh, in Europe as well as the Middle East um, and beyond. So um, 400 plus employees worldwide. So we're a fairly big company for, for just doing, you know, for being known as just the console company. Um, and our public safety focus is really for 911 traffic management and transportation. Um, so we do span several vertical markets and my specialty is obviously to take care of our public safety folks. Um, so again, with our breadth of knowledge throughout these other industries, we kind of have best practices that we bring in um, from these other industries industries and you know, focus that on all of our mission critical operations. Um, we are a proud supporter of the Denise Amberley Foundation, um, as well as the AIA American Institute of Architects. Um, but we have been very passionate about supporting uh, the Denise Amberley Foundation, the Kyle Plush 
Foundation, um, the I Am 911 Movement, um, and various other uh, charitable organizations that are out there. If you're not familiar with the foundation, I would certainly be happy to speak to you about that. Um, but Nathan's story and his his passion for changing the 911 industry is really what we're here to support. Um, so beyond the console, we do have several control room services. Um, starting from the very beginning, we do uh, consulting, design, construction, um, and then carrying that out to the completion of the project. So even if you didn't want us for consoles, we can support um, you know, the consulting and the control room design. And what happens is a lot of times there are not, um, you know, our folks work with architects who are not experienced in public safety. And so we try to bring that subject matter expert knowledge um, to, to those projects and help to make sure that these 911 centers are built to last and built to sustain the operations of a 24-7, 365 environment. Um, so our consulting services really, the main focus is on the people, but we have to take into consideration, you know, the physical uh, restraints, operational requirements, um, and making it scalable. You know, it's really about the operator and designing from the operator out. Um, and that's really where we take our, our extended services from. So between architectural design, we're looking at operator flow, communications, et cetera. Um, and so we really try to drive that home and ensure that everything is set up for their success on a daily basis, that in a upset situation or a crisis situation, such as, you know, the Las Vegas shooting, 9-11, et cetera, that these communications don't fail uh, when they're absolutely needed. So that's really where we've taken our focus. Um, and not only that, but beyond construction and or I'm sorry, beyond consulting and architectural services, we also have a construction management group. Um, so we can actually do a full turnkey solution um, from, you know, basically building everything inside of the control room walls. Uh, we can do all of that. We can do the HVAC, the electrical, et cetera. So we really are a one-stop shop when it comes to the full scale project. Um, and that's really kind of the direction that we're trying to take public safety from Evan's perspective is, you know, going beyond the console. And again, you don't even have to hire us for the consoles. We certainly would want that, but uh, we do have these services beyond and can really come alongside uh, as a partner. We also do our own transportation. So when it, when you purchase anything from Evans, whether it be a, a turnkey solution product or a console, they are riding on our own trucks. Um, so we control the transportation of all of our products. So we're not relying on third-party services. Uh, we also have our own installation teams and we have our trained folks um, or throughout the country. So, um, you know, we're not using third-party services that aren't familiar with Evans. They're trained specifically by us in our corporate office in Calgary, um, as well as our other corporate office in the U.S., which is in Vienna, Virginia. Uh, we do have lifetime warranty on our products, which is super important in these environments. We go beyond that as well with our preventative maintenance program called Evans Care. Um, this is really where you want to invest um, because when you're buying these consoles or you know building out a room for millions of dollars you want to protect that investment and that's what Evans Care is really all about um, and these guys are CGIS certified they are trained properly in how to work inside of uh, a control room that you know anything could change on on a dime so they are uh, they are well trained in that a um, little more about Evans Care, and then just some pretty photos to kind of show what we've done um, in public safety. And again, I'm happy to discuss any of these projects with anybody or if anyone has further questions about our services um, and want to chat privately, I'm certainly happy to do that. So I really want to thank HGAC for this opportunity. And, um, you know, we're very happy to be a part of this contract and look forward to, to future opportunities. And that's all I've got. All right, Megan. <laughs> did I did I hit the time limit? <laughs> you did wonderful. You yeah. made it very concise and hit some wonderful key points. Um, would you mind dropping your information in the chat box below? Sure. I can see it on any of your slides. Okay, absolutely. I can do that. All right. Next up, we have Mary Shaw with MCM Technology. 
Hey there. Thank you, Joshua. Good morning, everybody. Uh, hopefully you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Very good. Well, uh, as you uh, did a great job introducing, my name is Murray Shaw. I'm with MCM Tech and our MCM Technology. Uh, and we are an asset management software solutions provider for the communications industry. So we, we really specialize and focus in communications. And we're certainly excited to be part of the HJC contract. Uh, part of this contract in particular for emergency communications. We've, this is probably our third or fourth time participating in the contract. And um, you know, one of the things we want to do in introducing ourselves is talk about some of the success we've had with HGAC. But as a company, we've been in business for 20 years. We're a small business located out of Birmingham, Alabama, with remote offices spread across the U.S., uh, you know, majority of our business has been uh, U.S. and North American based, but we do have implementations in Europe and, and Australia and a few places across the world. So, uh, you know, I've got over 200 agencies using our solution, tracking uh, over $6 billion worth of assets and communications and technology, um, lots of different assets, over 2, two million assets, uh, two and a half million assets tracked. And uh, we work primarily with state, local government, and public safety agencies. And, you know, the, a big chunk of our business is ma helping manage communication systems. So, um, you know, this has been a great contract focus for us. And, and over the course of our experience in partnering with HGAC in this contract, we've had a lot of good business both locally in Texas with, with places like City of Denton, Denton County, Corpus Christi, Irving, Terrell, Montgomery County, Texas, but also across the country. So that's, that's one of the things we love about this contract is it's, it's not just for uh, the local folks in Texas, but we've had success in, in Virginia, South Carolina, Colorado, California, Maryland, of uh, customers leveraging this contract to purchase our solution to help be more accountable and efficient in how they manage their communications technology, equipment, and inventory. So um, that's just a little bit about us and, and as a company and where we are, the success we've had. We have kind of a group of core solution offerings um, that, you know, that we uh, kind of market to our customer base. The Com Asset and Com Shop products are the primary focus for communications customers. So we do have some customers that are not communications focused. And so we, we have offerings for them as well. And that's what the Motion 360 uh, motion track offerings are about there at the bottom. But for communications specific folks, which I would assume the folks participating in today's meeting would be, um, Com Asset and Com Shop are going to be those focal uh, offerings. And the, really the main difference with Com Asset, you're focused on asset management, equipment management, configuration management of your radio system. Um, and with Com Shop, you have those same functionality but you're adding in also a work order application to, to track and manage preventative and reactive maintenance activities. So for us, it's about, hey, you've spent and invested a lot of money into communications technology, uh, whether that's everything from the consoles that Evan sells to the, to the radios and the, and the infrastructure that Motorola sells, who, who you're going to hear from next. You know, our focus is helping, helping you manage the investment of the equipment, inventory, technology, that you're deploying for your communication system. And, you know, these things, uh, it does cost a lot of money to, to get these the proper resources in place. So for us, it's about being efficient and managing that, properly managing it, tracking it, uh, and maintaining and repairing it. Kind of to, you know, as, as we just heard about from Evans, you know, the maintenance of the equipment is just important uh, over the long haul. So we want to give you a database application to help do all these things, track your customers, track your equipment, we have some specialty tools in the communications area to manage radio ID assignments, to manage your, your tower sites and infrastructure of your system. And we even integrate to uh, some of our radio partners like Motorola and through a third party, uh, through Genesis, uh, the Genesis group. So we do some integrations to your radio systems, which can help you even streamline uh, data management even further. We have built-in notifications to help you automate your processes. Uh, integrated dashboards to visually represent the data. Uh, and then the work order system, tying that in, a lot of our customers are using, you know, Excel spreadsheets for asset management, or they're using a separate system for work orders. And we're trying to tie all this together. So you can track and manage your work orders, tie those work orders to your assets, to your customers, know who you're doing work for, who you're supporting, 
and then even manage parts inventory and consumable inventory items that cost money as well. Things like, you know, batteries and antennas and knobs and, and the nuts and bolts that go into managing your equipment. So that's, a, you know, really what we do at, at a high level. Um, you know, we kind of, again, we're purpose-built for communications with these com asset and com shop offerings. I like to put this up there because it's, it's the high level of who needs which solution. So if you're an organization who needs to track and manage radio communications equipment and other complex assets, but you don't do in-house maintenance, then that's what com assets for. Uh, but if you're an organization who needs to track, manage, and maintain your systems, uh, including the, the need for repair and maintenance, that's what the com shop product really is designed for. So that's that high level, you know, who needs this, these products. Uh, just kind of put a couple sneak peeks into what the software looks like. It's a web-based application. It can be hosted in the cloud. It can be hosted on-prem on your local network. Again, we have integrations to your radio manufacturer systems through uh, different partnerships and, and integrations through different uh, third-party software solutions. Um, and we, you know, we're happy if you have a need for uh, a better solution to, to be accountable for your equipment, for your configuration tracking, for your work order tracking, um, you know, please come talk to us about it. I, I am the VP of sales for MCM and I've got a team of folks who cover, you know, um, all the areas of the country and beyond. And so we can make sure you get in touch with the right folks. Uh, we'll, we'll provide live demonstrations of our software through a go to meeting session like we're on today or a Zoom session like we're on today uh, so that we can show you the application in a live environment with some sample data. Uh, we can talk about how it works, let you ask questions, interact with it. Uh, make sure we determine which is the best offering for you based on what your needs are. Um, you know, and then we implement our solutions as well. We, we work with our clients hand and foot to configure the solution for your need. Everybody's a little different. So we have the ability, it's very flexible in design to make it work for you. Um, we convert your data. So take the data you have today in your spreadsheets and other systems, make it work in the system. Uh, train you on how to use the tools. So by the time we leave, it's going to be up and running. It's going to be configured for use for you. And you're going to walk away, um, you know, using a tool that's really designed for your business. And I think that's what makes us unique. A lot of people have tried to use, you know, IT tracking systems, fleet tracking systems to manage their radio communication systems. And they, they end up coming up short and having some gaps where they're still having to use Excel spreadsheets on the side or, or other systems to help manage the information that's important to them for their radio communications uh, systems. So uh, I think you'll find as you look more into what we do that it's really built for managing a communication system. So uh, typically we, we check all those boxes and, and help you meet those needs that have been maybe hard to meet through other systems. So I've outlined a couple key values. We've kind of talked about these things. I mean, obviously we're, we're trying to give you one powerful, easy to use, user-friendly solution to manage your operations. We wanna help you save time and money by being more accountable and efficient. Know where your equipment is at all time. Uh, prepare you for annual audits, track grant related expenditures. You know, nowadays there's a lot of money flowing from the federal government. You've gotta know where that money's going, how we're spending it. Um, and then be able to kind of operationally budget based on real data and information. Uh, so, you know, people uh, don't know what to plan for next year, but if you know what you spent last year, you know how much you know, when your equipment's coming out of warranty, uh, what equipment is maybe uh, old and needing to be refreshed, we can kind of give you the data at your fingertips to, to answer some of those questions and to report back to the folks that you have to report to, to, you know, prepare your budgets and get approvals on those things. So, and then of course, kind of lastly here, talking about incorporating radio configuration details into your asset management and work order management processes. So because we are unique to the radio world, um, that's something we do very well, and a lot of other systems will miss out on that. So um, that's just a little bit about MCM today, MCM Tech. Thank you for your time. Uh, you'll see our website here, our, our phone number to our local office, toll-free number. Uh, this email address goes to me, and, and we can get your the right team mail, uh, uh, teammate in touch with you to talk more about your needs. And, of course, we want you to visit HGAC Buy, too. It's been a great tool for purchasing our solution uh, makes the process much easier. We've we certainly 
appreciated the partnership and the HGAC team. A lot of you that are on the call today, I've, I've worked hand and foot with you on working through some, um, you know, these procurements and we appreciate your partnership as well. So thank you for the opportunity. And certainly if anybody else has any questions, feel free to reach out. All right, thank you, Murray. That was some wonderful information you provided for us. And um, as he said, <clears throat> you don't have to be in Texas to use HGAC buy. We've had that come up before. People think that because they're in California or Illinois or whatever, they can't use HGAC buy. No, we're a nationwide cooperative purchasing program, so you can utilize us wherever you are. All right, last but not least, we have Rick McClurry with Motorola Solutions. Thank you all for having us in today. Uh, I'm Rick McClary. I'm a senior solutions engineer in call handling systems for uh, Motorola Solutions uh, here in the central region. Uh, basically, I normally cover Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and parts of several other states in the surrounding areas. So, and whatever other projects they throw at me. <laughs> so, whatever you need, I can probably help you. <laughs> the um, Systems that we're going to look at today are what we do have uh, currently on HGAC. And we do have a variety of different things in here. Our Vesta call handling systems uh, essentially works very well for anything from small to very large PSAPs. This is very widely deployed across the US, Canada. We also have specialized versions for military bases uh, with our uh, JITIC certified version of the Vesta, and it does allow us to, uh, to operate on military bases around the world. It has a lot of different ways it can be deployed. Uh, as a standalone system, geodiverse, multi-PSAP system, or hosted in data centers uh, with multiple PSAPs. One of the biggest ones that I work on right now is the actually state of Kansas, uh, where the the backroom equipment is actually hosted in two data centers, two geodiverse data centers in Wichita and Topeka. And then we're serving uh, the vast majority of the state off of those two systems. The um, beauty of it is, is that every PSAP, even on a multi-PSAP system, is configured to meet their specific operational needs. So, you know, it's kind of like I tell people, it's kind of like living in a condo. You know, everybody chipped in to buy the building, but what you do inside your apartment is up to you. So it's completely uh, configurable in that route. One of the things that's really catching a lot of people's attention today, as we're seeing a lot of shift away from the old legacy CAMA 911 trunk world to the ESINet environment, is the ability for Vesta to actually operate seamlessly and transparently to the user. So a user might be taking one call off a of legacy camera. Next call, they might take off the ESI net. They don't really care. All they care about is they got the call and they're able to take that call to do what they need to do with it. We'll let the system deal with the complexities of conferencing or transferring the call, things of that nature in the background. Let the user focus on actually getting their job done. This all feeds course information into our Vesta Map local program, uh, which you can kind of see in this particular case up here on our screen layout. We've uh, built our Vesta screen around the map display for a small PSAP where they have very limited space. A lot of PSAPs do like to move the map over on a separate screen, just whatever. But that Vesta Map Local is built on the latest ESRI mapping technology, which really gives us a lot of new power that we did not have in older mapping programs. Some of that allows us to directly integrate with Rapid SOS uh, services such as Micello which if you're not familiar with that, Micello actually allows, uh, they come in and do floor plans for things such as schools, uh, auditoriums, uh, sporting stadiums, uh, things of that nature. And whenever you get a call, it actually allows you to have that floor plan automatically pop up 
with the call and be able to be viewable and to try and identify a little bit more closely where that person is. As well as other internet-based services such as weather overlays, things of that nature. Our other call handling system on uh, HGAC BY is our CallWorks call handling system. And small to medium-sized piece apps, kind of like this one, uh, cost-effective, very cost-effective. It does also support a lot of the same deployment models as Vesta 911, and both of them do support full integrated SMS uh, text functionality. They also have, uh, you know, has its own mapping system, and this one does allow you to answer your 911 calls from the map. Both of these are still actively developing. Uh, we are continuing to release. Uh, we just re made a new software release for the CallWork system. Uh, Vesta was just updated here earlier this summer with the R7.7 .7 release and continuing to add new functionalities, new capabilities to the systems. A lot of that's really critical as we see changes in the ESI net world because uh, different ESI net network providers are interpreting the standards in a little bit different ways. And our focus, our goal is to be able to work with all of them and to support the features and functionality that each of the different vendors are supporting. Within the uh, VESTA 911 system, we also have our analytics uh, system. Now analytics, essentially is your call analysis and reporting. And what that does is gives you some extremely detailed reports from cradle to grave, if you will, on what happened with a call uh, through the VESTA system. There's a broad range of, of templates that you can utilize in order to uh, meet just about any PSAP reporting need. There's Optional tools, uh, if you really want to get in, if you're familiar with SQL, and you want to do your roll your own reports, uh, there are tools available to do that, but it does require quite a bit of knowledge with SQL. The raw data is there, just a matter of how you want to access it and utilize it. There is also an optional dashboard module, and that allows you to create near real-time statistical reports and views using a drag and drop type uh, methodology. We really designed this product for multi PSAP systems to allow each agency's data to be segregated, just like you have in a condominium. You know, what's inside your apartment is nobody else's business. And, uh, you know, it's only visible to you. If you're in a COG or some other uh, council of governments or a regional planning commission or something that's administering the system, the primary administrator can pull reports across the entire system. In some cases, we do uh, what we call enterprise level analytics, where we're actually pulling data from multiple VESTA systems so that uh, a centralized administrator can pull reports and view reports and data across multiple systems. A good example of this is up in uh, the Mid-America Regional Council. You saw that one up there is one of the partner members of HGAC BY. And uh, up there we have three different hosts that serve the, the MARC region uh, on both sides of the Kansas and Missouri border. And, but yet the central administrators there at MARC can actually go in and pull comprehensive reports across the entire system. Finally, on HGAC, we do have our VESTA communicator and AWARE applications. And with uh, these particular applications, it does allow us to, uh, it does allow us to get your message out to the community. These are your mass notification applications. They're a little bit different in the way that they operate. Uh, communicator is really designed uh, and used primarily in large uh, corporations. We use it within our own company to do mass notifications of our employees. 
Uh, it also is used within communities for mass notifications to public safety officers, uh, you know, emergency personnel, you know, things of that nature. The AWARE is more of a map driven application, which allows you to, again, use the same kind of tools to get out your message, but it does have the added advantage of being IPAWS compliant so that you can push notifications out to the emergency notifications uh, on your cell phones, on uh, your emergency broadcast system, uh, and so forth. So it's uh, you know a little bit different targets in there. However, they do both provide very powerful tools for notifying people throughout your community. They also can be a combination of different deployments. They can be uh, hosted where they're within our cloud. They could be purely on-premise, or they can be a hybrid model of, consisting of some equipment on-premise utilizing your phone lines and internet services, as well as our cloud services in order to rapidly ramp up and expand your coverage and deployment of uh, your message, okay? There are other things that we are doing right now, particularly with our Vesta product that uh, are not yet in HTAC buy, but uh, we do expect them to uh, become available and things of some of that includes our uh, real-time transcription service, which actually allows you to transcribe text to speech, the 911 call that you're actually on and see it actually appearing on your screen in real time. Part of the beauty of that service, I don't have a slide in here for it, is that it also allows you to flag automatically certain keywords. So if there's a fight going on or weapons involved, um, someone's been kidnapped or things of that nature, those keywords can come up and a supervisor can actually just be sitting there watching the transcriptions in monitoring multiple calls at the same time and then jump in on the calls that they think they need to go to. We also have our citizen input module uh, which is available now with Vesta. Both of these will also be available in CallWorks that allows you to send a link to a caller and be able to have them send back information to you, such as pictures, such as uh, videos. And if they allow you to do so, we can also take over the camera on their cell phone and actually watch what's going on in real time. Both of those products are cloud-based and are fully compliant with uh, CGIS as well as uh, other uh, rules of evidence and preservation, being able to control who can access, who can deal with it, and uh, try to make sure that we don't uh, violate anything that could be used later on in court. The, um, but uh, it is a very flexible system. Uh, both of these are very flexible, a lot of things going on with them, and uh, we do expect to see quite a bit more uh, with them as we go along. So realize I'm kind of stepping through very, very quickly uh, with it. Um, I think, I've, think I'm right on time there with it. So if there's any questions or anything, you know, please uh, feel free to, uh, to contact me. I'm gonna stop sharing this screen for just a moment, and then I will uh, drop my, uh, put my, all right, come on. I will drop my contact information over here for you into the chat window, and you're more than welcome to, uh, to contact me. And we also will have our uh, presentation available for you if you'd like uh, to get a copy of that.